SNAP benefits scheme. New details tonight as this state worker and her daughter face federal charges for allegedly stealing benefits meant for the poor. That's right. The mom is a Rhode Island Department of Human Services supervisor. The night team's John Perrick joins us live in studio with reaction from people who really depend on this, John. Dan and Patrice, investigators say the DHS supervisor allegedly stole personal information from hundreds of SNAP recipients through her job, all as part of a fraudulent scheme to buy groceries. New photos show alleged fraud unfolding. Uh, uh, breaking the system. Wow. I can't get over it. A year-long investigation coming to a close tonight. 57-year-old Nadine Jean Baptiste and her daughter, 27-year-old Octavia Jean Baptiste, arrested at work today for allegedly committing benefits fraud. Nadine is a DHS supervisor here in Providence. Very concerned, especially from a person that has the authority. Nadine Jean Baptiste accused of using her position with the state to improperly access personal information from SNAP recipients to check SNAP EBT card balances, changing the pins so she could use those cards. Disappointing, disheartening, and hopefully people will pay more attention to what they're doing. The two allegedly used those cards to purchase items here at a Cranston Stop and Shop, as well as a Walmart and a Market Basket in Warwick. Federal prosecutors say the total value of the SNAP EBT benefit cards the suspects used is $191,000. She should do $190,000 days in jail. We went to Nadine Jean Baptiste's house. She wasn't home, but we spoke with a family member through Google Translate. She then called Nadine, and that's when the door closed. Officials tell us among the people who had their information stolen, some were incarcerated or homeless. It's absolutely horrible, and it's taken out of, out of the mouth to people, and the families, that people that need it. Ariana Cabral has been homeless for the last two years. She also uses SNAP benefits. As someone who uses SNAP benefits to hear this, it's horrible. Both suspects were released today on an unsecured bond. DHS tells us they are supporting the ongoing investigation and can't comment on personnel matters. Live tonight in studio, John Perrick, NBC 10 News 19.